Welcome back to Vision Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make the Demon's Head cocktail. Now, interestingly enough, Demon's Head is the English for an Arabic name, Ras Al Ghul. That's pretty awesome, right? <laughs> Anyways, now Ras Al Ghul, who is one of Batman's arch nemesis, first shows up in Batman issue number 232 from June of 1971. But most people are not actually familiar with that nowadays. However, what we are familiar with is the 2005 Batman Begins Ra's al Ghul, Liam Neeson, as seen here. My name is Merely Ducard, but I speak for Ra's al Ghul, a man greatly feared by the criminal underworld. And that man played that really well because he has a particular set of skills. Anyways, for those of you who are not familiar with Ra's al Ghul, or maybe you just don't know much about him, here is a very short history. Go back 450 to 700 years ago, because they're not quite sure on the timeline yet, Ra's al Ghul's family was a group of immigrants that came from China to the Arabic Peninsula. Anyways, he became a physician. And that's pretty cool because he was so smart he actually figured out the idea of germs beforehand. But using the Lazarus Pit, he actually saved the Sultan's son, who was dying of an illness. Well, the Lazarus Pit, as they do, have a tendency to, you know, mess you up. And he became kind of evil and strangled Ra's al Ghul's wife. Now, he wasn't known as Ra's al Ghul at the time. He was just the physician, basically. So the Sultan, who didn't want to admit that his son had a problem, imprisoned Ra's al Ghul. Well, Ra's al Ghul was released by the son of one of his patients. So he then hot-footed it back to his little settlement where he lived. They, he then figured out how to infect the prince with a disease. And when the Sultan came to ask him how to solve, save him, well, he killed the Sultan, killed the prince. They went and raised the entire city. And then he gave himself the name Ra's al Ghul, or Demon's Head, which is what we're familiar with today. And he is a fantastic, super smart villain who knows strategy, knows weapons. He's an eco-terrorist. He actually has a lot of respect for Bruce Wayne and Batman. However, he is kind of a little bit in the evil department. But let's get into making this cocktail of Ra's al Ghul. Now, the first thing you're going to do is grab a rocks glass. Now, I found this cocktail in the Gotham City Cocktails by Andre uh, Darlington. And this was given to me by my friends Anne and Taylor. And in it, you need vodka plus butterfly pea flower fluid. Those are the exact words. However, I don't have any butterfly pea flowers to make this with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some Empress 1908 gin because that'll give us exactly what we want. So first thing you do, add some ice to your rocks glass. Try and get the ice in the rocks glass. Here, let's just, it's my drink. You know what? Don't worry about your hands if you're doing it on your own. And the rest of the recipe I'm going to find or do as you would find it exactly in the cocktail book. So grab your now infused vodka. In this case, I'm using my Empress 1908 gin. And we're going to use two ounces or 60 milliliters. Oh yeah, look at that. Now this is the only deviation for this recipe. However, by following the remainder of the ingredients and recipe rules exactly, I'm now going to take this and put this off to the side and leave that like that. But we're going to grab our shaking glass because we need two more ingredients and they have to be shaken. So push this off to the side, grab yourself a lime, and what we're going to do is cut it in half like so. Three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters lime juice. One ounce, 30 milliliters Cointreau. And would you smell that? Limes and orange liqueur, fantastic. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add some ice to this, as I said earlier, and we're going to shake this. What you want to do, slap your, uh, the, the other side of your tin on there, make sure you have a good seal, give it a flip, and shake it with a smile. Yeah. Let's pop that off like so with the strength of a thousand limes. And now, as per following the directions, we're going to pour this in slowly, but I'm going to choose to fine strain it just to keep it any little ice chunks. So here we go. Oh, look at that. Absolutely fantastic. 
what we'll do is we will give this a little bit of a stir with the spoon here just to mix all of the ingredients together. Now, what you will expect is this to be a little bit of gin forward and there's no sweetener in this except for what you get from the Cointreau. So let's give it a try. Oh, that is really, really good. You get the gin, you get the lime, the Cointreau comes and lifts it up and blends everything together very, very nicely. What I will do is I'll put the ingredients and the method of how to make this down in the description down below. And if you'd like to try it with the vodka or with the gin, please leave a comment. I really want to know what you prefer. Now, if this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a fantastic day.